have been approved by the mayor in May of this year. The sure. first one is, is to the preservation of rare and sensitive coastal strip vegetation, sand dunes, and pools. The second is the prohibition of off-road vehicle, motorcycle, and bicycle use in ecologically sensitive areas, including coastal dunes and shoreline beaches. Then on page 3-34 of the NSSCP, this kind of the kind of complex as a historic and cultural place and recommends, among other policies, that significant cultural and historical features be preserved and protected. The Climate Point Advisory Group was formed to come up with recommendations concerning how to handle the North Shore section of Climate Point. Among its five recommendations was one which was approved by a majority of the APAC, and that was for a single upper row, a single upper row, and that was the majority approval of the KPAC. Yet when one goes into the KPSA side, and I have not looked at the amendment, the maps over there, when you go into the, in the website, and if you lay out all four maps on equal size papers, I count 29 separate roads recommended in your KPSA site, 29. If you have 29 roads, what you're going to do is you're going to destroy the, the flora, the fauna, you're going to destroy kind of point, in your words, for generations to come. Now what you're also going to do, as Steve pointed out, by driving down the beach, you're going to have stuff go into the waters, you're going to have things drain into the water, it's going to destroy the reefs. I don't understand why you can't support the recommendations of the KPAC to preserve and protect the kind of point. You need to do that. That's the position of the majority of people who live on the North Shore. Thank you. Well, I tend to disagree with you. Right. That's no, no. Hang on, hang on. 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 Okay, let's stop this right now because everybody is entitled to express their opinion. We don't have to agree. He doesn't have to agree with me. He doesn't have to agree with anybody else. He's entitled to express <coughs> his opinion. Okay, so let me answer some of your questions. Regarding KPAC, when I was the chair of KPAC, I consistently reminded KPAC members that KPAC, the A, is an advisory committee. That the chair, prior to me, was going to be the decision maker. Based on input from KPAC, based on input from other community members based on whatever information came in. So to quote the KPAG vote that said 